Houdini has built-in material palette. It can be accessed by pressing Alt G. This is nice because you can save materials into your database and have access to them from any Houdini project you're working on. And also, you don't need to start every time from scratch with materials or digging into the older heap files trying to remember project where you did something similar. To use material palette with Redshift, first of all, we need to go to Edit, Preferences, Rendering. Here we can turn on Redshift and turn off Mantra if we don't use it. If you want to see a little thumbnail with material preview, you have to make it yourself manually. PNG file 70x70 70 70 pixels works best in my experience. And make sure that you have an alpha channel. I encourage you to give a meaningful name for the thumbnail and save it in a safe space. Because sometimes they just disappear and you have to manually reassign each of them. I made a simple digital asset to speed up thumbnail generation. Go ahead and use it if you find it useful. To save material to the gallery, right click to the material builder and choose Save to Gallery. Houdini shows you confirmation window which you have to fill. Entry name has to be unique and space is not allowed. Label. This is what you'll see as a material name. Gallery path. This is file which will contain our material. Single gallery file can contain many materials. Icon. As an icon, we will use previously generated image. Simply copy and paste full path to the image into this field. It will be embedded into the gallery file, but again, it can disappear anytime. Make sure you've, you can find image to use it again. Categories allow you to build hierarchy inside material palette. Here we can type red shift slash metals. Metal in this case. Keywords, it's not for you to search. Keywords, it's for Houdini to know that this particular entry needs to be shown in this material palette. So here we can uh, type in only red shift and also mantra, maybe something else, but in our case it will be a red shift. If you don't feel this correctly, your material not showing up here. It makes it a little bit easier when you already have some materials in your material palette. You can click on the most appropriate material and press F2 and simply copy and paste information that you need. Like that. And simply hit accept. And now we have an entry. If you did mistake, for example, I want to rename this material, simply select it, press F2 and rename. Hit accept. It will be updated and here it is. Also we can delete it. Okay. To use material from the material palette. Open Material Palette with Alt G and drag and drop your material. You can use this material as a foundation for the for the new one. Any changes that you make here will not be reflected in the gallery version. But you can again save it if you want if you want to use it anytime after. That's it.